Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today, and I just want to apologize for missing the last video. Um, I was going out to do something when the, the day that this was supposed to go live, and I got back pretty late, and then I ended up having like I don't know a three hour nap. So yeah, I I, I kind of didn't get to get to this video, but I don't feel as bad because I was going out for. Uh, I do this thing every year with my mum, where we make these um, bags for uh, a group called Share the Dignity, and they, yeah, they have this little drive thing called It's in the Bag, and what it is is basically these bags are filled with um, hygiene necessities, I guess. Um, that's that's the main basis of it. It at least needs to have hygiene necessities, so like toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, um, pads. I can't really think of anything else. Oh, shampoo, conditioner, soap. That's yeah, that's probably a good thing. Um, and then yeah, if you want to add some extra things, you absolutely can. So yeah, what we do is every year we make a bag each, and um, yeah, it goes to people in need um I think it's a really good cause because like I it, it makes me think quite a bit especially around this time um about how lucky I am and how grateful I am for the position I'm in I know not a lot of people uh can uh I was gonna say can afford the way I live it's not quite I, I don't have an expensive lifestyle but not a lot of people have the same opportunities or experiences or, or privilege that I do. I, I understand that some people might not see a roof over their head as a privilege, but it it really is a privilege in this economy, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, definitely very appreciative of what I have, and it feels good to know that this helps at least two people. Um, and it helps them not be in as, as bad of a position, I guess. Um, I've read stories about people who received this bag, and I, I just think yeah, it's something that's so special, and, you know, like, I sure, my life might not be perfect, but I, I definitely help people more than they could help me, so I definitely want to make sure I can go do that. You know, I'm not worrying about where my next meal is coming from or, you know, where my next shower is even going to happen. So, yeah, it, it just... I don't like the idea of other people not having these basic necessities. And so, yeah, we do it every year. Um, quite quite a lot of people do it. Uh, I've been doing it for... Uh, since before 2020. Um... So yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been something we do quite often, um, and I don't know if I've ever spoken about it here before, but it is yeah something we do every year. And even when I didn't live with my mum, we kind of did it over the phone, I guess. Um, and like during lockdown as well, we did it over the phone and whatnot. So it was very um, yeah. I don't know. It's it's just something that makes me feel good about world because I know that there are still good things that happen within this world and you know it's not just my mom and I who do it it's it's many 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 people who do it um and again like hearing those stories and reading them back it's really beautiful I I read one where a woman was saying that in her bag she got a candle and she told herself she wasn't allowed to light the candle until she had a secure roof over her head and you know she was very comfortable with her living situation and she ended the post with saying, I was finally able to light the candle this year. And it's, you know, I I, I don't think personally I helped that woman. Because uh, you can build, build, build bags, make bags for different age groups and put things in there that are relevant to the age groups. Um, there's bags for mums and babies. There's bags for um, women who no longer have their periods. Or people who no longer have their periods. And... There are bags for teenagers and since i've been doing this since i was a teenager um i've always done the teenager bag um 
And I feel like if I ever become a parent, I'll probably move on to also doing the parent bag because that's also extremely important. Um, but yeah, it's just good to know that even though I'm not in the most financially stable position, I guess, um, that yeah, I can still go out and help people. And I'm I'm the sort of person who believes that. Even if you do a good, like, it, even if the good doesn't come back to you, you should still share the good. Um, because you making someone else's day might help them be, I don't want to say a better person, but it might help them choose to do actions that make other people happy. And it just passes on that, that goodness. And it's not necessarily about, like, you know, being toxically positive. I, I'm definitely not here for that. Um, I definitely think people can be overly toxically positive, uh, but this is more about if you see someone who is in need of help and, and asking for help, why not help them? Um, and so yeah, that's what I was doing last weekend. Um, and so all I've got to do is write a card. Uh, we always write cards um, and just give nice positive messages in there and then we go and put them in their little drop-off spots. Um, there's collection areas everywhere. So if there's something you're interested in, this is absolutely not sponsored, this is just something that I do every year, and I, I think if, if you're interested, definitely check it out. Um, I think it's only in Australia, but I'm almost positive you could find something similar uh, where you're from. Um, and if you do know of something similar where you're from, or something that could definitely help people out this Christmas feel, free to share it down below. Um, even if it's not related to what I've done, it, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, I just believe in helping people when and where you can. So, anyway, um, that, that I don't want to, like, ramble on and make people think that I'm some, you know, like, holier than thou and do this and do that and, and all charity work and this and that, but I, I do believe in helping others out, so I thought I would just share that with you. And... Another reason why I didn't do the video, like I said before, is I, I napped. I, if I go outside for an extended period of time, I have to nap. It's kind of really bad, and I'm a little bit concerned about it. Um, so I'm definitely going to do a little bit of research into that. Um, it's like, yeah, like, it, when I was doing uni in person, and obviously before they're going to school, like, when I first went to uni, I was doing long days. I was having all my classes in one day, and then I'd be doing, like, a day for all my chores and stuff like that, and then I'd have a day for, like, mass studying. So, like, I was doing a lot all the time, and now it's, like, I can barely go outside without wanting to have a nap. It's, yeah, like I said, a little concerning. Um, but it's getting better. Um, I've noticed that because I do... A lot of walks around the block uh, and I've been extending those walks further and further um, that I've been able to go out not just out for a walk but like actually out and do things for longer without having to nap as much or at all which is fantastic um, and it's probably a lot to do with the fact that I yeah I don't do a lot of movement it's not the greatest um, but it's something I'm working on but anyway, um, I should probably talk about the build now, because I've been rambling on a little bit about, well, I've st I still believe something that's important to me. Um, so this build here was meant to be the last build of the series. I was meant to do the build that is behind it, I guess. It's at the front of the build. This is technically behind it. Um, but if you're looking at a U, both the buildings are the top of each U, like the each side of the U. Um, and, yeah, technically I was meant to do this one first, and, oh, sorry, the other one first, and then do this one, but I decided to do this one first. I just felt like, I don't know, I just had an idea for it, and it worked, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just really kind of happy with how it turned out. I, I've kind of been into this dark and moody vibe lately, and as you might be able to tell, I did get the new pack. Um, also, the new build kit. 
I haven't I haven't got any um, non-building kits yet, and I'm not sure I will. It really depends on if I ever do gameplay, which is highly unlikely, but it is also something I kind of want to do. So, you know, it's 50-50. We're, we're having a little debate in my head here, uh, and by we I just mean me. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's potential. potential. I'm also thinking of making my own... Um, what do you call it build challenge? Not build challenge, legacy challenge. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about it. It's something that that's thought about like once every fortnight, I guess. Um, so clearly I'm not all that passionate about that, but it is still something that I am, I guess, interested in. But I would have to play through it myself, and it's gonna be a big project. Knowing me. I, any of you have been here long enough, you know all the projects I do are ridiculously long. Um, like, the A to Z challenge is 26 days of straight builds. Not rooms, but builds. And it's a little insane, a little intense. Um, but I do it. And, uh, yeah, I'm about halfway through the builds. I'm not halfway finished the builds for next year, uh, but I'm halfway through starting them. I think I've officially finished two of them, which is not... The greatest. I've been trying to do smaller builds here and there as well, but um, if we're being real, it's me. I'm going to be doing stupidly big builds all the time. Although with the Pokemon challenge, I've been pretty well behaved. Um, just seeing if I can find where I have the... It'll be in here. So tomorrow I am starting on... The letter M, and we're doing a movie theatre, which is pretty exciting. Um, oh, here it is. So I have finished... Oh, I didn't... didn't mark. Okay, I have finished A for Arcade. This is a little spoily, but I'll tell you the ones I have. And I have finished... Oh, I haven't marked some of these, that's not good. Um, the Ice Cream Parlour. And the rest I have not done. Okay, so I was right too. Um, look. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's gonna be a lot of much as oh maybe I finished three. I finished the grocery store as well, I think. Alright, look at me go. Three out of eleven so far that I finished. Um and it's the three smallest ones that I've done, so that makes sense. Um, oh, sorry, out of the 12 that I've done. I've done 12 of them. Ah, oh, but yeah, if anyone knows me, you all probably know that I pick really big builds, really big projects, and I kind of get stuck in them, and I don't allow myself a good amount of time for them. Uh, and I'm a little heavy in procrastinating at the moment, so yeah, not, not all that great. Also, apologies if you can hear my chickens. In the, I say my chickens. It's technically my roommate's chickens, but the chickens in the background. Um, one of them is currently laying an egg, and I get to hear that basically every day, especially since the chickens are outside my window. Um, it's fantastic. I love waking up to chicken buzzing noises every morning. Not every morning, but it's most mornings. Um, but anyway, um. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen with this build, I do go through a lot of different variations of what I want to do, um, back and forward with colouring and schemes and tiles and everything. So eventually I do end up on something. So when I finish furnishing the top level, which is a very bougie, luxurious type um, build, I guess, well, apartment, apartment, um, I... That's kind of what I stick with. I don't think I change much. I like I, I add some more lights. Maybe I change the wallpaper. But for the same it's the same one, just a different colour. Um because I really liked how dark and moody the bathroom was. And I kind of kept that going throughout the whole entire house. Uh but I can't remember if I change everything to black or if I keep some of it brown. I think I changed it all to black, um, if I'm being perfectly honest, because it was just easier um, for what I was trying to do and what was in my head. 
Uh, and to be honest, the whole, I guess, inspiration for this build was what the sort of entryway looks like. It's not quite what I had in my head, but the problem with what I have in my head is I have... Imagine you're looking at a picture of something, but when you focus on something, you can see that. But when you look away, whatever you just looked at disappears and you don't really see it anymore. You don't really, you just remember like the essence of it. That's kind of how these builds kind of sit in my head. I don't have a clear picture. It's more, yeah, like I said, essence of the inspiration. Um... So, yeah, if anything is a little bit disjointed or whatever, that would be why, is because I've probably either A, lost the essence, or B, um, as I'm looking around in my head at the, the inspiration, it kind of changes, and you, you, looking back, it's not as easy. It sometimes refuses to play nice, um, like the curtains do in these builds. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it was a fun and interesting... Um, Thing to furnish, furnish, decorate, a bit of both. Um, especially since when I first built this place, I hated it. This was my least favorite, and I think it's one of my favorites now. Um, and I guess you can kind of tell it's got like sort of similar inspo as the hotel. I haven't really, didn't really realize that until now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's definitely a vibe that I'm very much into, and I'm. Not mad. I I kind of really like it. I I do there. There's some things with the hotel that I did that I wouldn't have ever really done, and it felt kind of fun to do something different. And I guess because I've started to do stuff like that, it's really inspired me to lean into things that I might not necessarily have done in the past. Um. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me let me know what you think of so far what it looks like, or if you're you make it to the end. Um. Let me know what you. What, what what you think it looks like? No, what 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 you feel about what it looks like? That's what I was trying to say. Um. So, yeah, in this apartment there is four. In this apartment, in this building there are four apartments. Um, and we work our way down. Usually, I work my way up, which is, um. Yeah, I don't know. That's not how I normally do it, but yeah, working my way down this time with the decorating, I actually kind of enjoyed that a bit more than um the other way around because I wanted it to feel really luxury and bougie at the top and then as you work your way down like it's still very nice and, and luxury and bougie but it's like a little bit more I don't want to say achievable but I guess achievable is what I'm looking for like a bit more realistic maybe um and I also didn't clutter as much I do you think cluttering makes the place look really good? Um, I, I think, it, yeah, like I said, it looks, it looks amazing when you clutter things and it just, everything matches and it looks amazing. But, I don't know, sometimes I just want to do very, I don't want to say minimalist, but minimal builds where it's not as fancy. Um, and so that's kind of what I've done here. It's, it's not as, um in-depthly, and that's not the right word, what's the right word? Like, not as detailed, that's the word. In-depthly is not a word, apparently. Um, well, apparently to me it is. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's kind of fun and interesting to play around with the different things that we have in this game. Um, especially since I, uh, get all the packs pretty much as soon as, uh, I don't want to say released, I get them pretty quickly, and part of me hates that because I hate the fact that when you pre-order, if you do pre-order, you can't see any of the items at all, like not a single thing. Um, which is why when uh, builds, builds, when, when DLC is announced, I will not pre-order it if I do not know at least... Like, I have to have at least one item that I know that I will love and use. Um, and I'll wait until the release of the DLC before I buy it, or maybe not even buy it. Um, I know with the nursery kit and the artist studio kit, I think I waited a little bit. I was just not blown away by what I saw in the images. But when I downloaded them, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I should have given them a chance. This is really cool. I really like this. 
especially the artist kit. The nursery kit, I could live without. Um, I, I, it's not exactly my vibe, but I've probably used some of the items already and just not realised it because I don't know where anything's from. I'm so bad with like telling the difference between this kit and that pack and, and you know, what's this one called and what's that one called? I make up names for them. Um, so the new, the new, uh, pack is the, um, get to death pack. Basically, if, if it's that light blue colour, it's get to, and then whatever comes after it. Um, and if it's blue, it's based on what the picture is. And what's the other colour? I know kits are purple, but, uh, green. Um, something something stuff. That's what I'll, something something stuff. Like, I know there's laundry day stuff, um, but, yeah, the rest of them, I'm like, I don't know, what's that kitchen stuff one? What's that, that, that movie, movie one, the movie stuff one, or whatever. Like, some of, okay, the stuff packs, I, I feel like I'm a little better with, because I know that's movie hangout, movie night, movie hangout. I think it's hangout. But, yeah, like, I was trying to find the, okay, I can't even remember the name of the, the pack now. The one where you get mermaids and you, the island like the, the island, the world is called Sulani. My brain just went Discover Island, but see, this is what I mean. It's just, it's just wrong. Um, it's gonna bug me all day. Island living. And the only reason why that came to me a lot quicker than it did a couple of days ago was because I spent hours trying to remember it without looking it up. Because I was like, no, I'm going to remember this. I will remember this, and I, nothing's gonna make me look this up. And I ended up, I was building at that the whole time, and I was like, I'm going to use that pack for this build, and I'm going to try and, like, pick it out so that I don't have to go over to the little, um, like, I, I don't know what the thing on the right-hand side is, where you can pick just, like, the one type of pack or whatever. Uh, and, yeah, I eventually went over there and, and uh, oh, it's Island Living, okay. So, yeah, that would have never come back to me. Um. Is anyone else like that? I feel like there's two types of people in this world, well, two types of simmers. There are the ones who are like, oh, that's island living. Don't you don't you know that? That's island living, and here are all the, the sims are part of it, and here are all the law. Here's all the law, and, and, you know, oh my god, did you know you could do this and you could do that? And then there are people like me who are like, um, I think it's called Sulani. Sulani is such a beautiful word. It's probably why I remember it. I don't know, it's just very nice to say. It's a very Aussie noise. Very nice to say. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I I just am terrible with the pack names, especially the older ones. I think that's because a lot of people don't um, don't use the older packs for a lot of things. Um, if it's yeah, like the older it is, the less likely people are to say it. The less likely people are for me. Oh, for them to say it, the less likely it is for me to hear it. Um, and so, yeah, this, the older stuff, I'm like, what is that? What does that mean? Where is that from? And, like, the other day I was talking about um, one of the worlds that I was building in. And I got up mixed up the order. I was like, oh, that world came out beforehand. No, it didn't. It came out after. And I knew, th I, I, I didn't know that. I found that out afterwards. I should have known that because you look at these worlds every day. I think I was talking about my Pokemon build, um, the Evolution Townhouses build that I did. Um, I wanted to do that build on this lot, but this build was on that lot, so I had to go to Eu Dad and Amarada. I'm really hoping I'm saying that right. I feel like I never say it right, uh, but basically, yeah, I, I thought that world came out before this one for some reason, and no, it didn't. It was the other way around. And like thinking about the packs. That makes sense. The the Fall in Love pack came out before, no, after the um, Ten Family pack. I don't, uh, I'm making up names for them. You, you guys probably know what I mean. The, the, the Fall in Love, Get in Love, Get to Love, and Love Struck, and Get the Family, Build a Family, Build Bear, I don't know. Um, Okay, cool. My brain just gave me horse ranch. That's so not the right one. Um, oh, that's going to bother me all day. 
You know it's got like the is it the Michelsons? That that pack. Oh, that's gonna bother me all day. That's fine. I'm building later today, so I'll 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 see the pack. What's that called? Uh that's yeah, whatever. Get to family. That's what it is. Um that one came out before Love Struck. So yeah, I constantly mix up my Sims Law and that that's kind of like I, I find it kind of funny because with building I'm like, oh you do this and you do that and here are the the keys of what you need to do and like, you know, um there's uh a streamer friend of mine, Winter Resurrected, who is not that big into building. Um and there are a couple of things that if you are just a builder, they are just natural to you. Um, that's you just know how to do them. You, it's just that's a thing you do. Um, maybe not all of them, but quite a lot of them. Like um, can't think of one. Oh, the the page up, page down. Um, yeah, as a builder, you probably know that it goes between the floors. Um, I feel like that one's somewhat common knowledge. Um, and Winter is a game player more than a builder. Um, and so, yeah, it kind of made me realise, like, not everybody has the same knowledge of the game. And sometimes I forget that people don't have the same knowledge as me. Um, so yeah, it's kind of good to be reminded of that. But it I, it also means, like, when I get to the gameplay, I can be like, hey, Winter, what am I doing? Uh, or even any anyone else who's a, a game player, or even just mucks around in the game every once in a while. Um, which, yeah, clearly is not me. Uh, so, yeah, definitely... I don't know what I was trying to say with that. I I feel like I do that a lot. I just start rambling and ranting about the most random things and then I get to the end and I'm like, so what was I trying to say? No idea. Anyway. And then I just continue rambling with something else and then I get to the end of that and I have no idea what I was trying to say. So, uh, apologies for that. I think what I was trying to say was... No, I, I don't know what I was trying to say, but the thought came from the fact that I am thinking of doing... A little tips and tricks video on building in particular um and ordering them in terms of easiness or well, not easiness but like basic like here is where to start how to start um you know like okay pressing b takes you to the build like where you build walls pressing k gets you the sledgehammer that's the word. Oh, I was trying to think of the sledgehammer the other day, that word. Because I was trying to explain to Winter what K does. And I was like, I don't know, it destroys things. It, it gets the thing that smacks the things and the things go away. Um, sledgehammer. That's the word. Uh, anyway. Um, so definitely let me know down below if you would like to have a tips and trick, tricks video like that. Or if you've got any tips or tricks that you feel like a lot of people don't know about. Um... Because I feel like some of the things I learn, I had no idea about. Um, like, beautiful, beautiful person who hangs out with me on stream named Gia. I think she streams, but she said she's going to get back into it a little bit later. Um, she's helping me learn how to roof. And if you watch... The A to Z challenge in February, you will see her beautiful helping skills with roofing. Um, in the, I can't remember what the name of my build is. It's a library. It's the library build. Um, absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I am a hundred percent putting that in the video. I'm also gonna learn more tricks for myself, but I will definitely link to where those tricks came from, so that if you're ever struggling. And I'm not explaining it properly. Um, you can be linked straight to the source of. So yeah, um, that's something I was thinking about. Still have no idea what my original rambly point was before, but that's that's kind of what made me think of that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of interested in doing something like that because I know if that were me watching the video when I first started playing Sims, it probably would have saved me hours of problems hours of trouble um and probably would have helped me be a better builder sooner um not that i'm a fantastic builder but i am definitely better than where i once was there's still miles and miles for me to go um 
especially as an indecisive person, I am so indecisive. You probably can tell through my builds for sure. Um, yeah, I'm just the most indecisive. Indes I can't decide things. I also can't speak English, but that's that's just another problem. That's a pointless, irrelevant. Doesn't matter. Random, different, whatever. Uh, anyway, um. I totally lost my own train of thought because I stumbled over my own words. I do that so much. Um, I, I never used to. I never used to stumble over my words so much. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if that just happens as you age. Like, you you just can't think and talk properly. Um, I thought it happened a lot slower than this. But I also don't know if, like, what I'm, I'm saying in, in, in whatever is actually that bad. Or if I'm just... I don't know, maybe I'm just like need more sleep or less sleep or more water or something. I don't know. It could be any of those things. I mean, hell, it could be a tumor, but I'm not I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, but yeah. Um Oh, I've lost my whole train of thought again. Um Okay, we're we're definitely moving on to the second apartment now. So we spent forever redecorating and building walls on the inside. Um, this is the second apartment. If you're looking at the top, it's... it's uh, I, I always get so unsure with whether to call it the second or the third floor because people yell and debate about whether or not it is or it isn't. Um, I am used to calling the entry level of a building the ground floor because it is on the ground level. Um, and then the building, uh, the floor above it is the second floor. That makes sense to me. Would it, would it be the first floor? Because it's the first off the floor. Okay, I've lost, I've confused myself. Um, I don't know what I would call it. Alright, the, I'm, I'm going to be the, do the long way around this. You have to go up two flights of stairs to get to this level. From the entry level. Um. That's probably the most confusing way of putting it. Um, but this one is kind of... I do change the bed, but... Sort of, like... Mostly modern, but with a mix of, like, maybe a few pieces of furniture that were heirlooms, passed down, hand-me-downs type things. Um, and I kind of like that. I, I I think it fits well together. It sits nicely. It feels very... Um, realistic to me. Um... You know, when I, when I see my mom and like when I'm visiting my mom's house, um, she's had the same table since, oh, since before 2000, 2010 at least. Um, like uh, it, we definitely had it in 2010 and probably at least the year before that, but I can't remember how many years before that. It was probably 2009 since she's had it and she still has it today. Um, and you can tell like kids have grown up on that table and parties have been held on that table and like it's 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 been through a lot it's seen a lot but then you know she she got a new couch oh i say a new couch like it, it was new when she got it probably four years ago three years ago um so it's not like it's it's more of a modern style i guess um but then you look at our dining chairs I say ow. It's my mom's house is always gonna be my house. It's always gonna be my my home because that's where my mom is. Um but yeah, the dining chairs are mismatched. So the chairs that originally came with the dining table, only half of them are still there. And the other half are just a bunch of other mismatched chairs. And when you're sitting at the dining table you can see backyard. And in the backyard is more modern patio furniture. But she's also had that for a little while, so I don't know. It's like it's the mix and match, and it it it, it feels like a true home. It feels nice. I enjoy it. Um, and that's kind of what I was going with here. A few, I guess, heirloom pieces, hand me downs. Um, you know, like if I keep this bookcase, which I don't know if I do. Um, maybe this is an older bookcase that got refurbished into something new. 
Um, the dining table's probably new, but the dining chairs might not be. So it's it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was like a, a little mixy matchy thing. I realized when I was pulling out all the things that it was a bit mixy matchy, but I liked it. So I kind of just committed to it. And that was really the extent of the thought. But it makes sense now. Um, but yeah, here you can see I change over the bedding. I might even change this to the bottom floor. I don't even... I don't know. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of changes I make within here. Um, and I think... I think on the entry level floor, on the ground level floor, I think that ends up being... Well, the, the one above that is an artist's studio type build. Um, well, I say, say build, I mean furnishing. Um, I could not tell you what bottom floor is, like what the entry level is, because that... That might be this one, I don't know. No, no, there's still one floor down to go. I have no idea. Do you, ever, do you guys ever do that? Like you do a build and then you have no idea what you've done? And then you go back and you look at it and you're like, oh, that's what I did. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Right. Um, you might also notice that in this build, a lot of the furniture is the same, even down to the same fridge. And I was like, you know what? There are some places that do like furnished or semi-furnished um, apartments. So maybe this is like a semi-furnished apartment where it's got like a fridge and... I don't know what else I put in that's really the same. Maybe the dresser? The dresser's not in the top one, but maybe it's like you can pick and choose what furniture you want that they already have and the rest they just put into storage or something. We can pretend there's a basement for storage and a basement for the laundry, even though there isn't. Um, I was thinking about adding a basement, but this video is already long enough as it is, um, and I was running out of energy, to be honest. And I kind of liked how it was. I didn't want to change it and mess it up um it just it just didn't feel like it needed to and also with the bar on the level below i don't actually know how much space there is to be able to do that so i just didn't um and that's how we end up here and i yeah i'm happy with it i'm not i'm not mad at all with how things turned out um so the artist who lives in this apartment is sort of similar to the artist who lives in the other apartment that I did, but not as... I don't know, just something slightly different. I don't know, I just... I really liked that artist apartment. Um, I really, yeah, like I said, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I kind of wanted to lean a bit into that with a bit more, um... of the... what's this pack called? Uh, the Get to Death, Come to Life. Rebirth pack. Life and death. I knew it would eventually appear in my brain. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just... No, I, I just wanted to do something sort of similar like that, but not quite the same vibes. So, yeah, that's kind of how we end up with what we end up with. Um, oh, you know what? Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say I maybe this guy's on the floor that I did the mix and match with, but it is not. He's on a different floor. I also don't know why all my artists are male. Um I guess that's because I'm so consumed. Like all artists you see in media are usually female. And I guess I don't know. Sometimes it'd be nice to to see a male artist. The only I don't watch many TV shows, so there's probably like a bajillion out there, but you know, like, in Bones, Angela is very artistically talented, and I can't really think of anything else. That's the one show. That, do that doesn't really help. The one show that I have an example of, okay, cool, that's one one thing that might be an outlier. She might be the only artist on TV. I mean, that's also probably not true. But, I don't know. Um, oh, I don't know. It... Mm, Perhaps they're uh, artist friends, I guess. I don't know. I wanted it to be another art plant. Play oh, I wanted this one to be a plant level, actually. Sorry. This bottom floor, I wanted to be a uh, plant type build. And I don't think I end up leaning into it. I think I end up leaning more towards just a 
generic apartment. I think that's because I put all the furniture in and then kind of forgot to put the rest of the plants in. Um, which is kind of not fantastic. Especially if you're trying to commit to a theme and then you forget to put the theme in. But it is also a little more generic and I enjoy that. I think sometimes we lean too heavily into something and when we already like we already have in this build we already have a planty very planty based build we have actually two um separate dwellings that have very planty based vibes and i guess i didn't want to overdo it i don't know well i don't think it was really intentional it was sort of kind of fun to do i don't know i keep saying i guess it's my new I like, I think, which is not fantastic because I don't want to be repeating myself and saying the same thing over and over again um, and just guessing at what I'm doing. I should probably know what I'm doing when I'm building. Uh, but again, we were still going for the luxury vibes. This one has a slightly bigger entryway uh, because I didn't need to shrink it down. I didn't really want to shrink it down either. I kind of like it how it is um like sorry i didn't want to shrink down the apartment and make the entryway bigger I, I like how it is now uh so yeah it was very interesting to do this one because this again was the last one i was running out of steam um i did do this build in a couple of different parts but i wanted this one to feel very brown and green i guess very I don't want to say bougie, but that's kind of the best way to put it. It's, it's very... Man, the words in English, it escapes me. I'm hoping you understand the vibe I was going for. Um, and there were some items that I chose from other apartments that I did have that I was like, oh, I want to use this, but it'd be better for that. And I kind of saved it for here or... um, Yeah, I don't know. I just... Uh... I think I think at this point of putting that second statue in, the the knight armor statue, I think that's kind of where I lost my brain a little bit and really ran out of steam. You can see I'm kind of just like I don't know, fill it in with something, put something there. Okay, cool. Console table, absolutely. Um, I don't think it's this is actually called a console table, but that's the first word that's come to. Me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, fun to sort of mess around with it, and. There you go, I put another plant in. Good job, me. Um, but I guess it's okay not being overwhelming and filled with plants to a degree where it's just, like, drowning in plants. Um, which is originally the idea I had, and that kind of makes this non-functional, and I am trying to make a few more of my builds functional. Maybe not all of them, but definitely a lot more than what I currently do, that's for sure. Uh, but we're just going to finish up now with a few, like, trees on the outside, and I put a few benches around, even in front of the hotel and whatnot. Um, but yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, or if you've hated it, please definitely let me know down below. I'm very open to, um, feedback on my builds. I especially love feedback on my builds, because sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm just committing to questioning everything that I'm doing, um... And it's just kind of like, ah, I guess I'll do this, I guess I'll do that, and we'll see how it works. Uh, and that's probably 90% of my building. The other 10% is like, no, I've got this vibe, let's do this. Oh my goodness, it'll be fantastic and amazing. And yeah, it's not all that common. Um, I know 10% is still pretty common, but 90% is also a pretty big number. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know your opinions down below, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And... If you enjoy builds like this or rambling like this, either one, definitely make sure to subscribe or we do two videos a week um, at the moment. We will be upping our schedule. I say we. I always say we. The royal we. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, very long rambly rant over. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.